So in this box is probably the most expensive lawn chair you can buy, but it's also probably the very best built lawn chair you can buy. Oh, and by the way, it's made in the USA. A lawn chair made in the USA. Yeah, this is the life, lawn chair life. Although I am just sitting in my front yard and all my neighbors are probably wondering what I'm doing. So let's talk about just why this is so expensive. And well, number one, it's because it's made in the USA. As we know, most things made in the USA cost more, but that's because they're also made with an apparent higher quality. And in this case, I can absolutely see that. From the quality of the interwoven webbing itself, to the aluminum frame of the chair, to the quality of the plastic armrests here, everything seems to be top notch. This thing is built like a tank and built to last for sure. Now, if you take this lawn chair here and compare it to one that my wife found at a garage sale, which she's had for a very long time. I believe this one is made in Mexico. It is relatively the same type of design, but you can see there's a lot less webbing going on here and the webbing just isn't as thick uh, of a material at all. Now, granted, this is an older chair and so the webbing is a little bit stretched out and, and pushed over and whatnot. And there is uh, some tears going on here, but that just goes to show you that uh, even something like this that may not have been built to the highest quality, but still looks like a really good build can last a really long time so again my wife paid about three dollars for this at a garage sale um, and i paid about 70 i think it was about 70 75 80 dollars or something like that for this one now that being said that is a huge difference in price of course to buy something like this new i'm guessing would cost you 20 25 dollars but there is a huge difference in quality for sure. The webbing, number one, you can see there is a lot more of it on the Lawn Chair USA than there is here. So that's gonna equal longer life, more support, and just overall better looks on this Lawn Chair USA. This one, when compared to it, just seems a little sparse, almost like they didn't put enough on here and it just looks like, uh, you know, they should have put more or something like that. But nonetheless, up until I bought this Lawn Chair USA, this one was just fine. There are obviously many options out there for lawn chairs. So why did I buy this one? Well, I wanted one, number one, that was made in the USA and number two, that was gonna last me a lifetime. And with this company, they actually offer new webbing here. So if your webbing ever tears, you know, stretches out to the point where you don't like it anymore, you can buy a kit directly from their website where you can re-web your lawn chair. So you can get a different color, you can uh, just re-web it because maybe something you know spilled on it and stained it or whatever. Um, but there is kits that they sell and you can re-web your entire lawn chair. I'm not gonna say that's easy, I've never tried it. it doesn't seem like it'd be easy but they say it is. Looking closer at this lawn chair, you can see all of the rivets are very nice. The frame itself is very thick and all of the bushings everywhere seem to be very, very adequate. Looking at the back hinge here, you can see all of these pieces are very thick, a lot thicker than the one I was just showing you on my wife's chair, though the same design, but just a lot thicker of material. And one thing to note is these pieces here are actually steel. There are nice nylon bushings everywhere you look, so I can't imagine those not lasting a lifetime. So I guess the major points about this lawn chair and why it costs so much is, again, number one, made in the USA. Number two, built to a higher quality, a higher standard. And number three, the overall design is part of that price. When you look at this thing, it just looks fantastic. This one is more of like that vintage green, yellow, and white color. They have many options on their website for colors of lawn chairs, heights of lawn chairs, height of the back. This is the high back version you can see. Because I'm six foot three, I wanted a little taller back so that it would support my back as I lean back. I've only sat in it a few times, and I can see that this webbing is starting to stretch just after those few times of sitting in it, but they do say on the website that the webbing will stretch, and that's a given, right? I actually think that once this webbing stretches and kind of forms to your body, this chair is gonna be even that much more comfortable. As far as price goes, yeah. Do I wish it was not in the $70 range? Yeah, of course. I wish it was more like $50, but you know what? I'm not complaining. I think this chair is gonna last me a very, very long time, and I'm glad to support an American company. Definitely a nice chair to sit in. I can see myself using this at the beach or at a picnic or whatever, at a park, and uh, being very comfortable for a long time. Now there's another reason why I chose this short stance here rather than the taller chair, 
And that was for this. I can sit inside the back of my Suburban and be totally comfortable back here. Say I'm out camping, right? And I'm sitting outside enjoying the time and all of a sudden it starts raining really bad but I still want to enjoy my time at my campsite and I want to have the back of my truck open, being able to watch the rain and watch nature. Well, I can do that still sitting comfortably in my chair in the back of my Suburban. Jimmy? Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, I must have fallen asleep. It was so weird, I was dreaming about doing a review about this lawn chair. How weird is that? Not weird for you. Oh man, it's comfortable. Oh well.